In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a character freeze within Corel Video Studio 2022. And this style was first popularized by the movie Snatch, and since then it has been used by multiple movies ever since. We simply begin by just placing the footage onto the timeline, and then just scrub along the timeline where you wish to introduce your character, let's say about here. Now we leave the scrubber right where it is, we go to the Edit tab, and we hit Freeze Frame. On average, you want the intro to be roughly between 3 or 5 seconds. For this tutorial, I'm just going to change to a five second freeze, press OK. The clip splits beautiful and leaves me a still image here for five seconds. And all we need to do now with this one here is we highlight it and then we add in the mask. So mask creator. What we need to do here is basically mask out this girl. And I would suggest by zooming in as much as possible, like so. And let's start from the hair or the head and then work our way down that way. And I would suggest taking this brush size as small as possible. Also, the edge tolerance is down as low as possible. And then do your level best to out or basically draw the outline of her. I would suggest take your time and just really do the best you can. Now, obviously, this is going to be quite tedious, and I will then speed it up. Now, once you're happy with your final result, basically what you can do is use the transparency layer. If you crank it all the way up to 100%, you can actually see the final result. Once you're happy with that, just press OK. All right, so now this has placed the mask on the overlay, and what I want you to do is drag it down to the next overlay, so overlay number two. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two FX filters. So let's go into the FX filters, uh, new blue elements, background generator, and we're going to place it onto the freeze frame, freeze frame clip. <laughs> All right, now we've got it here. We can just click on the star, filter, background generator. First thing we're going to do is go reset to none, and then we're just going to add a casual blur, maybe up to about 20, I'd say. The just enough to so she really separates from the background. I'm pretty happy with that. Press OK. Now, another one I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to add a little bit of color or more color to pop out. So I believe that was in the new blue filters. Yeah, selective colors. This is all I'm after. I'm going to place that onto the timeline as well or on the freeze frame clip. I have very difficulty. <laughs> I have difficulty even talking right now. Selective color. So as you can see, it's more of a black and white, and I want to bring back some of that color. So I'm going to make it more of a red in there. Press OK, and I'm going to push that range back up a bit and do the same with the yellows. And all I'm trying to do is bring back some of the colors, like a little bit of the yellows in here, and maybe push, if I can push some reds out there. That's it. And it just adds a little bit more of an effect. You don't need to do this. It's just what I did. And then press OK. What we need to do now is we need to find something that we can slot in between the overlay and the freeze frame track. All I did was go, uh, I just went onto the internet and I just found something that looks kind of cool, like that ink splot, something very similar to this. So I'm going to double click and bring that into the project. But before I insert my ink splot, I'm going to show you something that you could actually use that's already here with Corel Video Studio. Go into the overlay tracks and I found this brush stroke kind of neat as well. So you could really take advantage of that I'll show you how it works yeah, like yeah, it's it's kind of cool the only problem is it just makes everything at the end white and it's you can do it obviously it's your style but anyway I thought I'd just show that let's keep going let's go back to my little project and I use this little uh, ink splot and let's see where it comes out oh my okay this one's slightly different but you know it, it works so I'm gonna trim it here I think that's enough no, a bit more. All right, that's fine. And I'm going to drag that in and place it in between my footage. And then I'm just going to trim that even more. Fit to the project. And there you go. Yeah, that kind of works. Now all I need to do is uh, green screen or remove the white. So let's do that. So let's double click. Chroma key that out because we don't need that, surely. And yep, that looks pretty 
pretty bloody good. Let's let's crank that right up. And right, so we can kind of just move this a little bit and then pull it out a bit more. I think that looks pretty cool. Now I want to add an outline onto my subject. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into the FX filters. I'm going to highlight the overlay track and I'm going to be looking for something called outline. So new blue elements, outline, click and drag on that. Drop it on your overlay track. Go to your little start, filter, outline. All right, so first thing we want to crank that opacity right up to about 100 like so and the width maybe we'll just we have a bit of a play i think mm, maybe a little bit less than that it doesn't have to be quite as strong like that all right that's all i need and press ok and i can change the colors if i want like in the uh, intro i did yellow i'm just going to stick with white why because i'm just lazy and the next thing we need to do is add the title where I basically said fit with Tina. So let's go ahead and do that. Simply just click on any of the title tracks, one or two, double click. And then we're just simply going to write fit with Tina. So fit with, I'm going to enter Tina. Looks good. Just going to reposition it slightly off to one side. Just size it down a little bit. And then I'm going to change the font to something that looks a little bit more classy or that kind of suits what we're doing. I think Banshee looks okay. Yep. And again, I'll just resize it up a bit. We're almost done, folks. Make it all in the black so it looks kind of neat. How are we looking? That looks pretty good. Let me just quickly fit this to the project like so. All right. We're almost done here, folks. We're almost done. All I did now is add some motion to the text and even to the overlay track. So let's go ahead and do that to the overlay, tr overlay track first. So right click, motion, customs motion. All right, I'm going to go to the last keyframe and all I'm going to do is scale it up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too much. It's just going to be a very gradual scale. I think 112 is fine. Press OK. Let's just have a let's have a quick preview, shall we? So then, da -da boop, there you go. Now see, we've got the ink spot moving. We've got Tina moving. So now we just want to do the same with the mo uh, the graphics, the graphics, the text. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Here we go. Motions open. Options sorry. Customs motion. And I think this time what we want to do is also just gradually move the the text to the left. So again, last keyframe. And I'm just going to ever so gently move it off to the t to the side like so. So as it grows, I'm not she's not going to be blocking the text. I think you know what that ought to do it. And again, these are all optional things. You don't need to do that. And let's have a look at that. Look at that. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. It's all coming together. So I could probably time it where the ink blot and the text are coming at the same time. But you get the general idea. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to create the character freeze frame effect. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>